Hey there, James R. Elliott with Unleash Your Power Coaching and Training. I'm here at a gentleman named Stuart Mansion who uh, runs a business called GT Exotics. So he takes us and takes people on tours with exotic cars. I'll get out of the way for a sec. As you can see, uh, the Ferrari, the McLaren, uh, the Lamborghini, the Acura NSX, and the Porsche, the red Porsche uh, GT3 way in the background there. I want to do this video as a metaphor. These cars are supercars. They're some of the best, fastest cars in the world. And they don't hide who they are. They're loud, they're growly, they're bumpy, they, they corner on a dime, they make noise, and they don't hide who they are. And it's a shame because most people do hide who we are. Or, in other words, we're not being who we really are. We're not being our true selves. We are being quieter for someone. We're not speaking up for someone or someone else, or for fear of something. Usually it's for fear of either being fired or someone not liking us, someone breaking up for, with us. We're very often not ourselves. We're not like these supercars who are just, they're raw, they're powerful machines, they're not very comfortable, they're not very spacious, and they're not very practical at all. Uh, they are the most uncomfortable engine on wheels basically you would ever drive. You're sitting in a little cockpit and it's an en a massive engine and that's really about it. There's not a lot of space, there's no storage. And they don't, they don't hide who they are. They're not an SUV or they're not a minivan. And it's a metaphor for you to avoid hiding who you are. Be who you want to be. Be the real version of yourself and be raw and real with people while not being a jerk. I'm not telling you to be a jerk. I'm telling you to be raw and real and just speak your mind, again, from a very caring place and from a very neutral place without being jerky. And when we do that, trust me on this, I have hundreds of clients that have been afraid to be the real version of themselves, to speak up, to go after something, or to stand up for themselves. So many people have been afraid to stand up for themselves because they feel they'll lose people, lose friends, lose family, lose their job, lose their clients. The more I'm real with people, and the more I'm real with clients, and the more I just say what I need to say, again, in a caring way, and that's the key. Come from the heart, and no one will ever get mad at you. In fact, I guarantee they'll thank you, or they'll go away if they're not your people anyways. If they go away and don't like what you're saying, don't like the real you, it doesn't make sense for you to be with them anyways. And there's another one starting up. So be yourself. Say what you need to say from a caring, heartfelt, polite place to your boss, your husband, your boyfriend, your manager, whoever it really is, your employees maybe, whatever, whoever it is really, these prospects, these clients, just go be yourself. Say what you need to say. Sometimes you need to call people on their stuff and be raw and real with people and say, no, that's not right. No, that's incorrect. Or no, I disagree and here is why. And maybe call people on their stuff as well and have boundaries and stand up for yourself in a kind, caring, polite way, polite and firm. Just be the real version of yourself like these cars. They don't pretend to be anything else. Avoid pretending to be someone else, someone that's extra confident or extra jerky or extra arrogant or extra whatever. Be who you want to be. Speak up in meetings, speak up, speak out, stand up for yourself. Say what you want to say when it comes from a real heartfelt caring place. You can never go wrong and I guarantee you. It'll get you more friends, it'll get you promoted, it'll get you hired, it'll get you liked. I'm liked far, far more now than years ago when I was kind of a, a spy in the smelly fish, wanting everyone to like me. And uh, I think the engine agrees with me. Uh, I, I, I'm so much more liked and well liked now that I, I, am, I have a stance, I have a point, I have a backbone, and that's what people like. That's who people resonate, that's who people follow, because that's called leadership. Having a point, a stance, and boundaries, and really standing for something no matter what. That's who people like, that's who people follow not someone who's just trying to please everyone or who's neutral and never speaks up or never stands up for themselves, never ruffles feathers. Avoid doing that. You're actually costing yourself a lot of fulfillment and success and money because you know these are fun to drive and they cost a lot of money. So until next time, James R. Elliott, hope that's been helpful. Unleash your power. Go have your best day ever. Do something fun.